Hello everyone, today I will present a new methodology for inserting RFID chips in plastic parts and we realized this study because there is still no standardized model in the industry that allows the insertion of tags in plastic parts. First, we started by consulting the existing tags on the market and choose the smallest ones with the ability to write and read memory. Then, we choose two readers as one communicates with high frequency and the other with ultra high frequency tags. That said, we started by consulting the influence of the position of the ship in relation to the antenna of the reader, and for that we created one part in form, form of a matrix with several positions to place the ships, and another part to place the reader. As we can see in the video, we initially choose a position for the ship, then we turn on the software to search for tags and start moving the axis to bring the ships closer to the reader. When the ship is detected, we take the measurement with a caliper and place in the matrix. The results show that the ships have a lower ability to communicate with the reader when they are decentralized from it. Then we adapt an ultrasonic welder that is commonly used in the industry plastic, as we can see in the video on the left. To this welder, we added a microcontroller that controlled the time it is active and inactive, as we can hear through the sound in the video on the right. This welder helped us to see the temperature limits of the ship. We create a plastic part with a cavity for the ship and we leave a channel to place the thermal couple sensor. Then we cover the ship with material and we melt this material for a certain period of time. In the graphs we can see the results for the ships. With 5 seconds we got good parts and the ship has not damaged. Instead of after 8 seconds the ship ended up damaged and the part has completely destroyed. Finally we created a proof of concept where we took the RFID ships from a dispenser and placed it over the parts cavity. Afterwards, we covered the material and melt it so that the part has its final shape. For your attention, and I would like to thank the IEEE IES for sharing my work within the scope of SIPA.